Hi guys, my yeah. name is Asha Philip. How are you? Are you excited to get to Glasgow? I'm totally excited. I cannot wait. Okay. How did I find the right sport for me? So when I was at primary school I really enjoyed playing all the different sports. I enjoyed playing everything from uh, football, cricket, swimming lessons, but when I first watched the Olympics on television I was really inspired and I just liked the look of athletics so I went down to my local athletics club, tried all the different events, um, tried everything, kept playing everything. Um, but the thing I think you find the right sport for you is the one that you enjoy the most and the one that you want to keep practicing. What act athletic activity do I enjoy the most? So when I did athletics, when I was younger, I tried all the different events and I really enjoyed them all. But the one that um, I seemed to be the best at was the hammer throw. And because I wanted to try and compete for England and I wanted to do the best that I could, I stuck with that one. So I started and I wasn't very good when I first began, but I kept training and getting a little bit better and a little bit better. And I was really lucky that I managed to compete for England and Great Britain. What puts more pressure, having the crowd quiet or the crowd cheering? Um, that's a really difficult question, but when the crowd are cheering for you, you know that they are cheering because they want you to do really well. But at the same time, because there's lots of noise, you also are more aware of people there. But I'd say when you do compete and there's a crowd, you almost forget they're there. So with athletics, you're almost just repeating the same thing over and over again. So I've done, done so many throws in training, so many throws in competition that I had to just blank out everything and just go back to basics and just do my throw and just forget about the fact that I was in a stadium with lots of people there and just do what I'd done time and time again. How did I feel when I won my first competition? I can't actually remember my first competition, but I can remember that every time I did a competition, as soon as it finished, I looked forward to the next one because I always just wanted to win again and again and again. So as soon as I finished, I knew that I wanted to do it all over again because I enjoyed it that much. How do athletes have to eat? So athletes have to eat really healthily. Um, you have to make sure that you drink lots of water to stay hydrated. Um, have lots of carbohydrates. So carbohydrates give you energy. So they're foods like potatoes, pasta, rice. Um, protein makes your muscles strong. So foods like eggs, um, meat, fish and then also lots of fruit and vegetables as well. So I try and have as many fruit and vegetables as I can in a day. How do you become an elite athlete? So nothing happens overnight. Um, I started doing the sport when I was 12. I got picked for England when I was 15. Um, I first got picked for Great Britain when I was 18 and I was 23 when I went to my first Commonwealth Games. So how do you become an elite athlete? You have to work really, really hard. So when I used to train, I used to throw outside. A lot of the time it used to be really cold, it used to rain a lot, but you just have to go out and you have to get it done. Um, you have to persevere because there'll be lots of times when it's really difficult and you're not doing too well. Um, and some days you feel like giving up, but you have to, you have to never give up and always keep trying your best. Um, you always have to believe in yourself. So sometimes you might have a bad session and think that you may be not good enough or other people might say you're not good enough either but you always have to believe in yourself. So those are the main things.